we need some olive dyed deer hair for this detached bodied daddy we need a tube fly tool in your vise or a needle olive tying thread and we'll just attach this at the point go back just a wee ways we'll hang that end out of the way I've cleaned and stacked about 20 deer hair so we need to just attach this with the points right on the tip of the needle and we can go back down over the points we come back up a little bit now not too tight here otherwise you'll have difficulty removing it I've taken a nozzle from a UV resin bottle you can use any kind of tube and I've cut a, an extra large opening in it so we go over the end of the needle and we want to distribute the hair around the hole of the needle so we just pull that back straighten it out we go around two or three times then we move our thread forward a little two or three times and we do the whole length of the body in the same way again not too tight come down here you can make the segmenting larger as you get further down if you wish to give the body a little bit more of a taper or volume so we come down to it it's better to make the body longer than shorter so we just stop there take our whip finish tool and we'll just make two or three whip finishes there, tighten that up. And again, tighten that up. Leave a little end on that. Remove your tying thread. We can cut that one off there. And we just take hold of our daddy body and we twist it slightly and pull at the same time. And that's the result, a very high floating and reasonably durable detached body. We'll start with the Mustard R43 size 10. This is a three extra long dry fly hook, our olive tying thread. So we attach this just behind the hook eye. And we go about a third of the way back. Remove that. We take our daddy body. Need to go a little bit further back. And we we'll just attach this. Here, we we'll go through the hair as we go forward. Perfect, and we can remove all the ends. Like so. And just go back. Into the body again. I've pre-knotted some daddy legs. If you don't know how to do this, you can watch my video on making daddy legs. So we take two, one each side to start with. And we just attach those. Take two more. On each side again. Then what I have.
have is two Brahma hen hackles for the wings. And just position these. I like to wait the wings quite large. And just go back so they extend a little further than the body. That will do us nicely. We remove that. I have a furnace cock hackle. Just attach there, bring that up and we'll remove the end of that. Two more legs, then I'll tie in facing forward. We'll go back. Remove those and go forward again. And attach a hackle plier. And we want a nice dense bushy hackle on this. forward Oops. like so and then we'll go around there times, bend that hackle back two or three times in front, remove that and we go forward into the hook eye, bend the two legs, the two front legs back Tie them down like so. We finish a couple of whip finishes. Remove the tying thread. Position our legs. There we are. That's the finished detached deer hair daddy. If you enjoy the videos please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.